Nkale examined the objects on the 26th of November and concluded that the ivory were genuine, weighing more than 12 kilograms and valued at over $28,000. However, Nkale was not given instruction, he said, to determine the origin or the age of the ivory. He is the only witness and was not cross-examined by either the prosecution or the public in attendance. Another witness, a ballistics forensic expert, Jan Motima, was given metal fragments found in the bodies of the deceased to determine whether they were ammunition. The Botswana ballistics expert equally told the court that he was only instructed to verify whether the fragments were ammunition, not to determine the type of firearm from where they were discharged. During cross-examination, the Namibian team wanted to know the difference between the fragments and the firearm. Matima responded that he only followed police instruction. The Namibian team further wanted to know from Matima why Botswana Defense Force firearms used in the killings of the Nchindo brothers were not taken in for testing. In his response, Matima maintained that he just followed his instructions. When further pressed, Matima revealed that in all shootings of the more than 36 Namibians killed by the BDF, no firearm was taken for ballistics examination. The Namibian team at the cross-examination includes Boniface Konga from the Office of the Prosecutor General, Sinvula Mudabeti of Namibian Lives Matter, Zambezi Regional Council Chairperson Matengu Simushi, and Governor Alufia Sampofu.